before you title. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Out, all of you. I want to talk to Yente alone. But, Mama, the men she finds. The last one was so old. And he was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl without a dowry can't be so particular. You want hair, marry a monkey. Even a poor girl without a dowry has to look at her husband sometime. A husband is not to look at. A husband is to get. But, Mama, I'm not yet 20 years old. I don't think I have to... Do you have to boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? <laughs> oh, out, all of you. There's work to be done before the Sabbath. Hurry. All of you, hurry. Go there. Go there. I have such news for you. And not every day in the week news. Once in a lifetime news. Mm. Mm. Such diamonds, such jewels. <laughs> I'll find a husband for every one of them. But you shouldn't be so picky, right? Of course right. Because after all, even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband. God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor widow, all alone, no one to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. All I do at night is think of him. And even thinking of him gives me no pleasure. Is Seidel in the house? Why don't you go in and find out? Thank you, Belka. <laughs> Did we never raise this voice? Oh, uh, good afternoon. Is Seidel in the house? She's busy. Come back later. But there's something I'd like to tell her. Later. Later. Hmm. Uh, I... What does that poor skinny tailor want with Seidel? They've been friends since they were babies. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? I don't know. They're children. Oh, oh from such children come other children. Motley's nothing. Yenta. Yenta, you said you had news for me. Ah, children, children. They are your blessing in your old age. But my Aaron, <laughs> may he rest in peace, couldn't give me children. To tell you the truth, Golda, he hardly tried. <laughs> What's the use complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, not the enter. <laughs> not every woman in the world is a enter. <laughs> well, I, uh, I have to go home now to prepare my poor Sabbath meal. So, uh, goodbye, Goldie. And it was a pleasure talking our hearts out to each other. Yendo, you said you had news for me. Oh, I'm losing my head. Someday it'll fall off altogether, and a horse will kick it in the mud, and goodbye, Yendo. <laughs> of course, the news. <laughs> it's about Laser Wolf, the butcher. A good man, a fine man, and I don't have to tell you he's well off, no? <laughs> yes. But he's lonely, the poor man. After all, he's been a widower all these years, you understand. Of course you do. So, to make it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on Seidel. My Seidel? No, the Tsar's Seidel. Of course your Seidel. Such a match for my Seidel. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Kevya wants a learned man. He doesn't like Laser. Good, so Laser won't marry him. He wants the daughter, not the father. Listen, listen to me, Golden. You send Tavia to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Laser discuss it himself. He'll win him over. He's a good man and a wealthy man. So, you let me know how it went, and you don't have to thank me, Golden, because aside from my fee, which Laser will pay anyway, it gives me satisfaction to make people happy. True. Of course, true. So, uh, <clears throat> goodbye, Goldie, and you're welcome. Goodbye, Yenta. <laughs>